for joining us this Friday at 9. I'm Rick Fulbaum. And I'm Carly Barnett in for Sean Gables. A bad hair day in the midst of a wig stealing spree in multiple Georgia cities. Atlanta News first reporter Joshua Skinner visited one of those businesses that was broken into earlier today, obtaining exclusive security footage. This is all that remains of the front door of the hair exchange after a smash and grab early this morning. But this whole incident was caught on security camera and it helped police make three arrests. The break in happened at exactly 5 a.m., just hours after another break in in Doraville. Three men smashing through the glass and rummaging through the business. Atlanta News first walked through the footage with the store owner who asked not to be identified. When you work hard for something, um, and someone breaks into your place, um, it, it's, 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 it's a total violation. As seen here, the thieves quickly snatch up as many wigs as they can, some of which cost more than $600, before bolting back to their van. Yep, about a minute, 20 seconds. It was smart for them not to linger. The owner had already notified police before the thieves had gotten inside the building. Uh, we got here maybe 10 minutes after, and the police said they caught him in Peachtree City. According to security and body cam timestamps, the thieves were caught less than 20 minutes after leaving the hair exchange, pulled over for speeding by the Peachtree City Police. The three men were identified as Paul Smith, Frederick Wills, and Christopher Collins from Houston, Texas. They faced charges of smash and grab burglary. As for the hair exchange, they expect their merchandise to be returned soon. The return of feeling secure will take much longer. It's a small black business month. Can you believe that? <laughs> Unbelievable. In Fayetteville, Joshua Skinner, Atlanta News First.